Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Corsair K55 RGB gaming keyboard. And taking a look at the box quickly, we can see a picture of the keyboard on the front here. This is actually a shiny picture, the rest of the box is matte but the keyboard is shiny. So that's good, that stands out quite a lot. We've got the Corsair logo up there. And here it says that there are multiple RGB backlighting modes and immersive effects because this is RGB and it can be controlled via the Corsair software. There is dedicated volume and multimedia controls and six macro keys programmable on the fly. If we take a look at the side, we've just got some more branding. So as you can see on the side, we've got Corsair logos again and it says K55 and we've got the technical specifications and the system requirements and then it's also in some other languages too. Now on the other side we've got some more branding and it also says that this has an English layout which is good because I am in England. And then on the other side we've got more of the same basically and it gives us a bit more information such as the de dedicated volume keys and multimedia controls as well as a detachable soft rubber wrist rest that comes in the box. And also on the back We've just got some more information about the keyboard. But now let's open it. So there's a tab here. You can open that, put it down and lift it up. And there we can see the keyboard itself. So taking the keyboard out of the box here, it lifts up and it comes out with the cable. Now this is a wired keyboard and I do not believe there is a wireless version of this. So let's just put the keyboard to the side and take a look at everything else that's in the box. So there it says Corsair Gaming. In here we have the warranty guide, I'm not going to bother taking that out. And then if we lift this up, we have the detachable wrist rest. Okay, so here's the keyboard, it comes in a plastic bag. We can just take this bag off and it does say on it that you can suffocate and don't give it to babies, as you can see. So we're not going to do that. Then here's the keyboard, it's got some plastic along the top, I'm going to keep that on for now. And then here's the USB, this is quite a good looking USB, it is USB type A, so this is not USB-C compatible. So now we've taken that out of the box, let's listen to how the keys sound. So that's what the keys sound like. They have quite a small amount of key travel. The keys are very smooth to press and they're not too loud as you can hear. Now this keyboard does have RGB lighting so let's plug it into the computer and see what effects we can create. As it states on the Amazon description for this keyboard, the lighting effects can be controlled with Corsair Q, so that's what I'll be showing you in this video. Okay, so as you can see, I've just plugged the keyboard and it's starting to light up using its default lighting mode. Now on the keyboard itself, there's a button up here that has a little picture of a light bulb on it, or the sun maybe. If we click that, the lighting goes off, and if we click it again, the lighting comes back on, back to its default. And we can also change the brightness of it by clicking it a few more times. So to fully control the lighting on this keyboard, we're going to have to use Corsair Q. That is just downloading now, so while we're waiting for that to download, I'll just show you how to put this wrist rest on. So what we're going to do is find these bits on the top, and it's going to line up with the gaps on the bottom of the keyboard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click it in like that on both sides and there we go it's attached okay so the software's just launched apologies for the video quality now there's not really much i can do about it but i've launched it and it's recognizing the keyboard as well as the ram that i've got so i can control both of those things through this software so if i go ahead and click on the k55 keyboard you can see an image of the keyboard there and it's demonstrating exactly what's going on on the keyboard right now. If you look at the actual keyboard, we can see that it is doing the exact same lighting pattern that the software is showing. So from within this menu, we can click on actions and change different actions. We can also click on lighting effects 
and change the effects that the keyboard is doing. Right now it's on Rainbow Wave, it's quite hard to tell that, but it is on Rainbow Wave right now. Then we can also close that tab and open up Performance and we can change some settings in there. So what I've just done is clicked on that little plus button there and I've added a new lighting effect and I've chosen it to be a static colour in that menu there. So now we can choose a new colour for the keyboard to go. So I'll just select blue and then if we take a look at the keyboard, keyboard is now lighting up blue. And we can change that to any colour we want and we can have it switching between different colours. Okay, so I believe that is everything you need to know about this keyboard. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.